Darren Fletcher. What's the situation for you with Darren Fletcher? Uh, he is now in uh, West Ham, I uh, believe. So we have to wait and see. How big a loss to your dressing room in terms of the experience he has will it be for you? He's my third uh, captain, so he's an uh, important guy in the dressing room. And uh, I like him uh, as a human being and as a player, so uh, we shall miss him. But uh, he hasn't played so many times, and I think always uh, uh, that's the, the main goal of a player. And uh, we have talked uh, about that. And, um, and then he prefer uh, to play. And uh, therefore, we have helped him to go away. You've worked with him since you've been here. How good a signing is he for West Ham, bearing in mind his experience and what he's achieved? Yeah. I think that shall the uh, future prove. It's, uh, it's always, um, uh, for us, it's, it's a miss. And for the other, it's a uh, yeah, what is a miss? Uh, it's it's a it's a loss, uh, and and uh, for for the, the club who bought him, yeah, it's another player with a lot of qualities, and as as a midfielder, but also as a captain, and a, a very experienced player. But we have also, in the same role, uh, another experienced player. So, so uh, that's uh, the problem here. Earlier this week, Robbie Van Persie was talking about the lack of goals from Manchester United. I think at the start of the season, most people thought that you wouldn't have a problem scoring goals, but it's only been five in your last six games. Why, why is that? Why? Because uh, we have to play against uh, teams who make the space very narrow, defending with uh, 10 people behind the ball. And then it is always difficult. Then we have to play more quickly with a high ball speed. And uh, then you can de uh, disorganize uh, the opponent. Only uh, then. And uh, so we have to improve our ball speed. So you think it's your ball, the, the possession rather than the, the strikers because the strikers obviously not, not scoring as many as you wish them to do? Yeah, it's uh, like you have uh, criticised our defence. Now we have the best defence uh, of the Premier League. You know that uh, because you are reading the statistics. And now you are talking about the attack. And still we are the force in attack in the Premier League, or of the fifth. So, I uh, have said also uh, that uh, it's not the defence, it's the team, the team organisation. And you have a, team, uh, a defensive team organisation and, and you have an attacking uh, team organisation. And the, uh, the strikers have a big part in it, but not uh, only. And uh, so in, in <coughs> the defensive or organization, of course, the defenders have a big part in, in it, but not only. So it is uh, not <coughs> only uh, the guilt of the strikers. So if I take you back to the Leicester City game at the King Power Stadium and, and, you, and your memories really from that day, what you learned from that experience? Uh, <coughs> that one thinks are happening uh, in, in a wrong way, you have to control the game still. And uh, that was the first sign that we don't control uh, the, the match, even when we are three against one. So, uh, but that is happening always in football. Uh, last week in the FA Cup was also happening. And, and uh, uh, that's also the, the beauty of football, that, that can be. But as, as a top club, you have to control a match. And when you are in a good result, like three to one, you have to control the match and you have to uh, play 
and finish the match. But at that time, we don't finish uh, the match. And when we uh, conceded the second goal, then uh, we were, uh, as a team, not playing in our team organization anymore. And that we have to keep always in mind, that we uh, have to play in a team organization, in the game plan. And, and yeah, we have to improve that. No, I have said that two weeks ago already. So I read every day that I'm interested in players. I'm not interested in players. I have said it here two weeks ago. Only selling, I have said. And what is we are selling or let players go? But you, you never trust me. Different story. You, you just quite quickly do it like this. Oh. Uh, too many papers. Rio Ferdinand is now a bus driver and has had 26 kids with nine different no, women. There's a. So I don't know when he's changed. It's different story. You just quite quickly do it. Like